Hey guys, Crystal Thompson here for Winnie and Walter. We are celebrating Winnie and Walter's birthday all month long with challenges and different projects. Today I have this gorgeous swirl using the Peppermint Zone cover model. This was released back around Christmas. We're also using the Inner Word Birthday. And for this sentiment, I'm using the Happy from the Sugar Rush stamp set. For this project, you will also need the following colors of Distress Oxides and Shattered Straw, Spice Marmalade, Pickled Raspberry, Wilted Violet, Cracked Pistachio, and Twisted Citrone. You don't have to use Distress Oxides, they could be any other inks that you have in similar colors. Also going to get some glitter. We are going to begin by die cutting the peppermint zone cutaway from a piece of white cardstock. Once that's cut, we're going to begin by blending some of the scattered straw on the outer part of the die cut. We're going to come in with the spice marmalade, moving towards the center. I'm going to grab the Twisted Citrone and actually cover the center so I give myself enough room to add the other colors. I'm going to use Picked Raspberry next. Then Wilted Violet. And it's okay if you overlap. The, the more you blend, the prettier it will be. And then I'm going to finish up with that Cracked Pistachio. Once we're done with the blending, we're going to get a water brush and do some sprinkling of water to get those different effects on the Distress Oxide. And there you have it. You have this gorgeous rainbow on the peppermint. This is a great way to get some more usage out of your cover model dies. We're going to attach this blended background with some foam adhesive on the back and place it directly on our card base. Be sure it's centered. Now we're going to move on to the birthday. I have a piece of foam and I'm it's already pink and it has only one side. So I'm going to die cut it with the inner word birthday cutaway. I'm going to remove it from the foam. I like using one sided foam. It makes it super easy instead of having to cut multiple word dies and then gluing them on top of each other. We're going to add the birthday directly to our blended background there. I'm going to add the the little dot on the eye. Now we're going to be using some clear glue. I'm going to add clear glue to the whole thing of the birthday, creating a very light layer, but enough for the glitter to hold on to that. This is super fun. If you don't have the glitter cardstock, you can totally make your own. And you know, it works out with this foam. I didn't have to do a ton of die cutting gonna grab my wow glitter and this is um, the sprinkles and I'm gonna add it over my little uh, tray if you could do this over a piece of paper and it just absolutely looks stunning I love 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 this very bright birthday glittery now we're gonna move on to creating the happy On a piece of yellow cardstock that matches some of that scattered straw that we blended onto the card, we are going to stamp with ha Flirty Fuchsia, the Happy from Sugar Rush, and then we're going to cut it. You can hand cut if you're really good at cutting straight. I actually trimmed it with my paper trimmer, added a piece of foam adhesive, and I'm going to tuck it in be behind the D and the A. To finish up, I am going to embellish with some diamond crystals just to really make it pretty. I'm going to add about four sets following the curve of the peppermint zone cutaway. And that does it. Thank you so much for joining us today. I appreciate you hanging out with me on this tutorial. Go on to the Weenie and Walter blog to check out the challenges. Celebrate our birthday with us. Thank you so much. Have a great day.